Good morning, students. Today we are going to continue with our chapter that we were learning, and which was regarding safety rules, in which we understood as to what is the important to being safety. Why it is required that we should keep ourselves safe and do things as per what has been instructed to us or what we know is good and bad. In this, we studied various different places about various different places where we should be safe and things that we should be doing, being at home, what we should do, being at school, what are the things that are important for us to do. And today, in continuation to that, we are going to learn about the things which are important for us being safe when we are we are at roads. Now, when we move out from our homes on the open areas on the roads or in gullies or any ways, it is seen that there are various other things that are always moving around in the road. And if we are not careful while being outside, it may be very dangerous for our life. And in that regard, like for example, when we, uh, while we are moving out, not only that, while we are going and walking around, while we are in school buses, or we are, when we are driving bike or scooters, or when we are sitting, not only driving, when we are sitting with someone in the bus, or a scooter, or a car, or a, a bike, or any kind of vehicles that moves on the road. There are so many vehicles that keep on moving on the road and it is very busy area, one of the busiest area. Now, while moving there, we should be always very careful in various different aspects. So we are going to learn about what are the important things that we should do while being in road. Now we have heard about Zebra crossing, right? Why zebra crossing? What it is? We have seen, no? In the roads, in the middle of the road, there are certain lines like this. White marks, like this. Now, these marks are zebra crossing. Why it is known as zebra crossing? Because these marks are made for people to cross from one side to the another side people moving from one side to the another side and these zebra crossings are being made so that while crossing the road from one end to the another we should be very careful because vehicles from different sides both the sides they keep on moving so according to the rules in traffic rules it is said that we should be always be crossing on the job zebra crossing that is made we should not be crossing from here and there now, it is unfortunate to see that in our place in Jayagao, there are very less or there are no zebra crossing at all. People that tend to move from anywhere, they try to cross one side to the another side from anywhere. But in certain times it has happened due to negligence or unawareness about things that are there in the road. We tend to may come with an accident, which which again is not only dangerous for ourselves but the other person who is driving the vehicle or any kind of things that it is coming with. We may collide with the vehicles and it may injure us in various different ways physically and even in certain times it has happened that people have lost their lives also, they, are, they, are, they, they died also. So zebra crossing is one of the important places from where person should cross the road. Second very important thing, that before crossing the road, when we are crossing the road, we should always look towards right and left. Look towards right and left side of the road. While we are from moving on the roads, while we are crossing the road from one end to the another, 
we should be always careful that we should see towards our right see towards our left whether any vehicles are coming or anything which can be dangerous for us is coming towards the road if it is very far away from the place where you are uh, going to cross then it is fair enough or it is safe enough to cross the road and go from one place to another but it is always recommended the first point that is mentioned that you should be crossing in the zebra crossing now the third point always walk on footpath walk in footpath you should be always walking on the footpath now beside the road there are areas given small paths are been made people should be or everyone should be walking on those paths only we should not come towards the road side and walk towards the road side because it is not the correct area where you should be walking the roads are made mostly for the vehicles to move from one end to the another and for people to move there are footpaths which is made on the side of the roads where you should be walking around and by doing that you are keeping yourself safe okay from being uh, meeting with any kind of accidents or colliding with any kind of vehicle the fourth point is do not run or play on the road you should not be running or playing on the road at certain times children what you tend to do is that when we are going out you try to play with other people or the brothers or sister or family members most probably your smaller brothers and sisters or someone on the road itself which is very dangerous you should not be doing it because when we are negligence by our own self then that means what we are not giving importance to our own self and our own life life is very important as we all know and we should be very careful about it we should not be playing around in the roads the fifth point that is very important we have always seen or heard from various different place persons or various different things that we should follow we should always follow traffic rules traffic rules are made for the benefit or made for the safety of the people and it has various different colors right three different colors where we have red yellow and green this has three important right lights that are there red yellow and green colors are there these three colors indicate as to when and how it people should be moving or vehicles should be moving when there is red light we should be always knowing that with the vehicle or the things we are traveling in should be stopped whether it be car bus truck scooty anything it should be stopped near the traffic signal okay that red light indicates that public are allowed to move or cross the traffic signal that time when it comes to yellow it indicates that the vehicles should be ready now and the public should stop moving okay or crossing the signal or traffic signal after that green light indicates that the vehicle are allowed now ready to or allowed to move and cross the traffic signal now this avoids in very is important things it avoids or it avoids unwanted accidents that may take place it makes a certain principle thing where people learn to follow certain ethics or rules and regulations that will be not only uh, helping themselves but to the other people who are moving around on the road so traffic uh, adopting the traffic signal Uh, principles or rules is very important
not to disturb the driver like while the vehicle is moving it has been seen that when for example when we are moving in car or buses when is sitting beside a driver who is driving the car there is a lot of concentration required it should be very focused the driver is always very focused what where he is traveling or how he is doing anybody who is moving on the road or any vehicle is there on the side or front or back so his concentration is very much important while driving and if someone beside it tries to disturb the concentration of the driver by disturbing or doing anything unwanted what happens the driver loses his concentration and in that way what happens the you yourself will be in problem if the vehicle comes with an accident so that is very important to be very concentrating and not to disturb the drivers who are driving the vehicle put your hand and head most of the time what happens when the buses are moving we try to be little uh, uncautious about uh, things that are not allowed like move putting your hands out putting our heads out of the windows of the buses or vehicles and we try to be uncautious about what is on the other side and in that way what happens if something is there which is outside beside which the buses are moving you may get get hurt and it certain times be very fatal and very dangerous for your life also the next point is about always when we are when we are moving on the vehicle or car or any kind of vehicle where you seat belts are given so we should be putting our seat belts there why seat belts are important so that if anything unwanted happens the body remains still and constant in one single position okay now do not open the door of car suddenly when we are certain times what happens you might have seen in various videos or anywhere places or live we might have seen where person who is there in the vehicle a car or a bus or any any kind of vehicle such as where doors are there certain times it happens that they suddenly open the door without looking here and there as to who is coming on the side wise and in what happens they in that what happens others get hurt by dashing on the doors suddenly if it is opened so you should be very careful while we are getting down from these vehicles and then looking around where if anybody is nearby and then opening the door and be safe yourself also and make others safe so it is very important always drive scooters we have helmets right why is this helmets made most of the people when they go out outside they wear helmet in different sense for the sense okay police will catch if police catches they will charge fine most of the time that thought only comes into our mind and then only we wear our helmets while driving our scooty bikes and all which should not be the idea actually the main concept of wearing a helmet a reason for wearing a helmet is that it is for the safety and security of the people itself while making an accident head is a very delicate part of our body if suddenly if you fall and your head bangs on the floor in small accidents also it gives a major injury to our head and brain is one of our part which controls all the functions of our body if this is damaged if our brain is damaged we lose the various different functions of our body so that is why helmets are very much important and very much required important things that should be there when a person moves out in a in a bike or a scooty or any of such kind of vehicles which requires wearing a helmet then do not get in or out of the moving bus very much important certain times it happens that some of the people what they do they are about to reach their destination while the bus is moving or slow down little bit also they tend to jump out and rush out which is very dangerous it it may make you to fall with the force of the bus which is moving and not only that 
if anybody is nearby around, that person might also get hurt by dashing to you. If suddenly, unknowingly, if you get down. So, purposely or unwantedly also, never get in or out of a moving vehicle, which is very dangerous. Now, never touch anything strange on the roads. Certain times it happens, like if when we are walking around on the roads, we see th certain things thrown here and there. We should be very careful. Who knows what kind of thing is that? And children, it should be totally avoided by you not to pick up things from the road, which is very dangerous, which is very unknown to you, and in which you know, if you don't understand also that what the particular thing is, it is better not to touch at all. Because various different things, peoples are there, unwanted peoples are there, who try to purposely hurt other people. Okay, It can be your bad luck that in that situation, you do it and you fall into that same trap or problem that the other has put into. So, you should be very careful, you should be very cautious about following all these important rules that are there, which is not for the good of the others, but it is most probably good for our own self. So, this is basic various things which talks about that safety rules are important and how we should keep ourselves safe while we are moving on the road by following various rules, regulations of traffic, by way of following various things that are important to be done while being on the roads, moving in a particular way. Always, if, if small children are there like you, it should be always recommended to go out on roads with your guardian or parents or someone elder and always hold their hand together and then walk. Never leave their hands and run around here and there on the road or walk by yourself, boosting yourself, which is very much unwanted, which should not be done. Okay, So you should be very careful while you walk on the roads. Now, I have, as I have already told you, the three important traffic signals or the traffic signals that are there been made on the traffic lights that are an important part of our life which are put on the roads to keep ourselves safe okay and different different colors like red yellow and green what does it state what is the reason for these colors to be given on the traffic signals so understand it and learn it as to what does this traffic light or traffic signal to are being made for and what are these important different lights that indicate differently then you have first aid. First aid is a very important thing. Why first aid is a very important thing? Why? Because we get, when we get injured or unwanted situations happen. This first aid boxes. Like in homes also you can make it. Very simple where you take a box, cover it and then put some important medicines like the towel or a bandage or a cram bandage. Then few medicines that are important. Basic medicines like headache medicine fever medicine that you know and be careful that you don't yourself children yourself should not be handling those things it should be always it is always recommended to take the guidance of your elders or guidance of your guardians and then you ask their permission or ask them to give you medicines from the first aid box so first aid box are important boxes where initial treatment is done through them or initial medicines are there or basic medicines are there or certain small small diseases or small small things where in small accidents or anything which is important it can be done immediately and later on if it is more fatal or more dangerous you can be shifted to a nearby hospital to a doctor to get better treatment further so first aid box are important in various different ways now why it is important to know that if someone get hurt or someone get injured, you can treat them. Like suddenly, if you get a big cut on your hand at home, where you'll what you'll do? You'll panic yourself, and people will run in there. But if you have a first aid box at home, you can take out a proper medicine or an ointment, put it there, okay, and keep a bandage to it, and then later on immediately go to a nearby doctor. 
now what does it do if you do that it helps you to be get be protected for a certain period of time from losing your blood more or facing any further problems okay so it is always recommended to have a first aid box where you try to help others secondly never crowd an area you should not be crowding an area where accident or anything unwanted injury has happened to anyone because what happens when you crowd a particular area see you trying to see what has happened to that other person air is blocked and during that time due to suffocation the person who is injured or in problem he needs a lot of air to come towards him and if you block it what happens the air supply is less in and around that area so that is very dangerous we should always be helpful when we see people getting injured and how can we help with the help of this first aid box where if you take a first aid box to a nearby person who is injured help him with some little bit of water and then doing taking all some medicines and make him comfortable putting medicines or giving him medicine and making him feel comfortable so as to his injury is substantially lowered down and then he is later on taken to a nearby medical treatment now for example if a person is bleeding if a person has cut as i told you now what is to be provided you should in the first aid box antiseptic creams are there lotions are there then you have cotton then you have detol or any kind of spirit that is important medical spirit very very we need to clean it up we should take a hot water or any kind of cleaning medicine and you should clean that particular area so that dirt particles are removed from there which can be uh, injurious to the injured area so when we clean it clean the wood then put a medicine okay so that so that bleeding stops and then put a required bandage around that cut area from where the person is injured or he is bleeding so this is how first aid treatment should be done to a person then in case someone has burned due to fire certain times it happens you know it tends that we put our hands somewhere where in fire it knowingly or unknowingly it burns so in that burned area what should we do we should go and first of all put our hands in the cold water the first initial first aid treatment at home or anywhere is that in the burned area you should put that hand in the cold water okay after putting that hand in the cold water wipe it with a clean cloth okay after cleaning it then put required medicine if you have and then furtherly take him to the or take her to the doctor so these are some of the basic things that should be always remembered where first aid box plays a very important role in our life to safeguard ourselves from small kind of injuries or small things that may happen inside our houses in our schools in our outside in the road or in our neighborhood not only for ourselves we should be also helping nearby people or our neighbors if we see them falling into an accident a meeting with an accident so first aid boxes are very much important and it is very much required to be kept in each and every places like schools at homes and in vehicles also first aid boxes should be there very much important so these are the things that are required to be done and these are the things that are to be kept in our minds while we are moving around or doing things in and around wherever we are and we should keep ourselves safe and secure so these are certain important things that we understood today and uh, i am going to stop here go through the things or notes that are being given to you and the things that are being taught to you revise them again from your side and if suppose you have any doubt come up with the doubt in the next class and i'll be very much there for you to clarify it so this is all for today we'll be in the next day 
uh, of our class will be learning about what are the different kind of emergency numbers that have been given to us in different different ways which helps us during the time of emergency or this kind of unwanted situation that we discussed few minutes back so this is all for today thank you very much and have a very good day